Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to the Code One Digest channel. Thanks for coming back and showering your love. In today's video, we will see how can we run our Docker image on a custom ports. In real world, we definitely want to run our application on custom ports because there are many applications may be running. So one port may be already occupied. 8080 is the most obvious useful port. So you definitely have to see this video. How can you configure your Docker image to run on a custom port? It is very useful information. It is very useful video. So keep watching. In this video, we will understand what is Docker expose parameter. We'll understand the use case of it. Then we'll understand in Docker run command, what is minus P option stands for? What is the meaning of port mapping? We'll try and run our application on a custom port and show you a demo. So stay tuned. This is the agenda for the video. I'm going to jump to a code. You will also see a lot of commands coming on your way. So keep a note of that. There are not many commands, some three, four commands, and that is what is useful for this video. So stay tuned. After this video, you will be able to run your Docker image on your custom ports. I can guarantee that. Now we'll see how to run our Dockerize image on a custom port. Friends, in a previous video, we have seen we were running our application, our containerized application on 8080 port. Now we'll see how to run on custom port. In a many project, we may have a requirement that we want to run a Docker image on a specific port. So how we'll do that? So if you remember from previous video that this is our Docker file where we said we are downloading this Java 8 and then we are copying the jar file. I am going to use the same project and this is our entry point to start our application. Now what we'll do is we will say run this application on port 8081. We want to test that port 8081 instead of 8080. So we'll say expose expose 8081. So here we are saying that uh, please expose this container port for external use to the host machine. And now we'll build our application. So now we'll build our new image to run this image on 8081. Docker build minus F Docker file minus T demo app 2. This is the my app tag name. I'm building it now. So it is downloading all the dependencies, everything. So it has completed building. Let's see what all image we have now. Docker images. So you can see now we have this image demo app 2. We'll run this image and test if the application is running on 8081. Let's see. Let me clear the screen. Docker images. So we have our demo app 2 image ready. Docker run minus p. We have exposed the port 8081 saying that we will run our application 8081. And let's say we want to we want to hit in browser on 8082. So how we will create a mapping? If you have seen my previous video, I told you how to create a mapping from host machine port to container port. That means the browser port, whatever port we want to hit in browser to container port. So this is my host port or browser port colon container port and image name. This is the syntax of the command. So we let's say we want to run it on 8082 our custom port. This 8082 will hit in a browser and container has exposed 8081. 
So what we are doing is we are creating mapping from 8081 to 8082. As soon as the request goes on 8082, it will forward it to the container on 8081 and then it will serve the request. Okay, let me complete this command. We have to give the image name demo app 2. Let's run this. Okay, here you will be surprised that we want to run our application on 8081, but the server says 8080. And let's see what happens when I try to hit my 8082 port. Let's see if our application is accessible at 8082. So we'll test in the browser if our application is reachable at 8082 as we have said in that command. I'll go, I'll do the 8082 and hit OK. So it is not working. And why it is not working? Any guesses? Let me tell you. So what we have asked in this command that please map my host 8082 to 8081 container port. So I'm saying that if the request comes on 8082, forward the request to 8081 of container. And I'm assuming that my application is running on 8081 because we have mentioned that in our Docker file 8081 expose. But if you see our application is running on 8080, that means in, in the container, there is a problem. In container, application is running on 8080 and the port that we have exposed is 8081 and all the requests which we are sending on 8082 is going to 8081 where nobody is listening, no application is listening on that port. So how it will work? Obviously it will not work. So how to fix this problem? So we have to resolve this problem instead of 8080 the application should run on 8081 so that that the request is reaching that application and how will we do that we have to tell our spring boot that please run the server on 8081 instead of 8080 so in our spring boot application configuration file we will go and change the port to 8081 let us do that okay here let's come back to the code and we'll go to our resource file here nothing is there if we don't define anything as spring boot by default run that application on 8080 so now what we have to do is we have to say server dot port is equals to 8081 because we want our server, our application to run on 8081. As we have exposed, we are exposing container port 8081 for external world. So our application should listen on 8081. Now what we have to do is just changing this will not work. We have to build this application again. Let's run the maven command to build this application because it has to clean, it has to create a new jar file for us. In a jar file, this configuration will go with 8081 port let's build okay it is running the test now it says it's build is successful now what we'll do is we'll create a new image and then we'll run that new image into a new container let's do that go back to terminal I'll say clear, then docker images. So I can see that image, our old image is there. Now we'll create a new image. Docker build minus F, docker file minus T for tag. Now this time I'm saying demo app three instead of two and dot. So it is now creating an image for us. Okay, so you, that image is created. Let's see, Docker images. We have demo app three available. Clear, Docker images. Now we'll run this and test that if we are able to run on our custom ports. So Docker run minus p and our application 
and container has exposed is on 8081. So what we are saying here is we will hit port 8082 in a browser that is our host port and it should have a mapping on container port on 8081 and we are assuming that our Spring Boot application is listening on 8081 inside the container. Right? That's our understanding. Let's test demo app 3. So docker run minus port 8082 8081 demo app 3. Run that. Okay, now it says that application is running on 8081 and we have already exposed 8081 from container to outside world for the mapping and then we have created mapping to 8082. Let's hit in browser 8082. Now, here you go, it is working now. Let me change name to Pavan. Yep, it is working. We can see the logs. Receive request. Let me summarize what we have covered in this video. Our aim was to run the application on a custom port. So for that, we had defined expose attribute in our Docker file where we said, okay, let us expose 8081 to external world from container. And then we created a new image and we started running that image using custom port 8082, right? And the mapping is created from 8082 to 8081 of the container port and our application should listen in that container on 8081. Clear? Thank you. Okay, friends, let me summarize what we have learned today in this video. We saw what is Docker expose parameter? We also understood what is Docker minus P option. How can we create a port mapping from host port to our container port? We also troubleshoot a problem and saw where the port mapping was not successful. How our application was not accessible on a specific port. Then we successfully tested our application. Stay tuned for more videos on Docker and containerization. Friends, in next video, I will cover another topic about Docker containerization. That is how can we re-tag the image. Just creating an image in your local machine is not going to help anybody. How can you take that image to deploy in production that is in cloud, be it AWS or Azure or GCP or any other cloud? So for that, you have to upload your image to some global repository, maybe Docker Hub or Azure or AWS. How can you do that? What is the purpose of retagging? What are different ways of retagging your image? And how to push our image from local repository to Docker Hub repository? So we'll see all of these in this video. So stay tuned, this is a very interesting video. Without doing this step, you, you will not be able to share your image. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. I am creating a lot of quality content, but I am not getting enough subscribers, likes and views for my videos, friends. Please help me reaching out to more and more people. Please share my videos with all of your colleagues. Do share your feedback with me. What, what is right? What is wrong? How can I improve myself? I need all your help to grow Code One Digest family. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Please click on the bell icon for the latest video. Thank you.